G'day guys, M10 Tam here. Today we're going to learn about the new animated textures that has been implemented in Octane version 3. Here I have a scene that I'll provide for you. I'll uh, use it, uh, I'll use the mega service um, in a RAR file. I have made a scene that can just be flexible for rendering separate stuff if you want to. I'll do a separate tutorial all on that. Um, so you can move the floor and the TV screen around. So this is a UV textured screen plane and a non-UV floor. Um, I For the floor I just swapped on a quick glossy material made of black and reflective. Just to see the, uh, make the screen much more pop out. So with the animated screen texture it's extremely easy to do. It's just like a normal everyday image. So go to text. Uh, first, we have first you have to put a material in. I just put a standard glossy in. So right click textures RGB image. Here I have the animated uh, sequence here of a fireplace I recently bought, and I filmed it with my phone testing out the 4K settings. Um, since it was in low light, it was very noisy, and the bit depth isn't that great, so don't worry about that. Um, so I clicked on, click onto the first image sequence, press open, connect it up with the diffuse. In the options section, you will see a film strip icon. Click onto the film strip icon and you'll get a new dialog box called Assign New Texture Animation. Here you can add the files that you want. Now this isn't specific to the name convention. I believe you can put various different others in there. Make it look like randomized, randomized image sequences. In the animation mode you can go to loop, once, or ping pong. Um, for simplicity's sake I'll just keep it to loop. Uh, the frame rate's 24 but you can change that so don't get afraid that you can't change that here. You can also click the starting frame and the frames per file, along with the total amount of frames. Once that's all done and dusted, press OK. Now once you press OK, you're going to uh, see a animation slider, just like you, how you do in your ABC Albemic file imports. And once you scrub through the file, you can see the image changing, which looks pretty cool. And as you can see, the image is reflecting right off the uh, floor, as it just would with a standard RGB image. And here you can have this, you can select the time or the frames along with this slider. I think this was 29 frames per second, or 29 point da 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 da. So you can add uh, any of uh, computer interfaces, you can add any of the others on there. Uh, if you want to render it out, you can go through the batch render options, which I will go through in a new tutorial shortly. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.